What's good people, it's Ocean here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to this video. In today's video, I'm gonna be giving away some of my secrets. I'm gonna be showing you how to make your drum patterns more interesting. A few ways that you can change up your drums just to make it sound a bit more interesting, a bit more, a bit better than the typical snap bounce. You know, the that typical bounce. I'm gonna show you how to switch it up, how to change it up, how to make your drums better, how to make them more interesting. So yeah, before we get into it, hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already, help me get to 10K subs. And if you have done so, thank you, I appreciate you. I need you to do one more thing, hit that bell notification right now. So every time I post, you get a notification. And with that being said, let's get into it. First things first, I got my sample kit here. So I'm just going to quickly pull up the sample and drag it into Logic. I think I use this one. This sample's from my sample kit pizza, so if you want to go grab that, the link will be in the description below. It's got some fire melodies. But yeah, I'm just going to be building drums on top of this. So first things first to make the drums more interesting. I like to layer sounds. I like to put a clap on top of another clap or on top of a snare or even on top of a perk just to get a different kind of sound. So I'm gonna quickly go ahead and do that. And now I'm gonna go ahead and layer this with another sound. One thing I like to do as well that definitely makes a drastic difference when you're doing your drums is adding some reverb. It usually gives it that kind of realistic effect, but it definitely just changes up the whole vibe. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now I'm going to go ahead and add in my hi-hats. If you've seen my how to make your hi-hats more interesting, then you'll see there's like I can't remember four or five or different ways that I like to change up my hi-hats to make it more interesting. But I'm gonna go through them again in this one. So one thing I like to do, and this is more so if I'm making boom bap, I like to just control everything and move it slightly off time, just to give it a different kind of feel. Gives it like a realistic effect. But this sounds a lot nicer when it's a boom bap type of beat. For trap, I, wouldn't, I don't usually do this. But there's no rules, you can do what you want. I've got my hi-hats quantized perfectly. One thing I do like to do is change up the pitches. Just move some of these hats down. Some hats I even put up. I like to add in rolls, so I'm going to quickly go ahead and do that. As well as layering the claps and the snares and things like that, I also like to layer in my hi-hats as well. So with these first set of hi-hats, it's quite simple, there's not that much rolls. So sometimes what I like to do is add in another hi-hat and add in just rolls. So I'm going to quickly go ahead and do that. This is my second hi-hat here. So I'm going to add in some rolls right here. And I also do it at different pitches too. Move this up a bit. So now I have 
have two hi-hats going. I've got ones with loads of rolls and then one just a bit more simple without too much rolls. At the moment, I've got the hi-hat playing on every, every single time. So I might just take out a, f a few, a few hi-hats basically, just to give it a bounce. Now I've deleted a few hi-hats, it's not going on every single, like every single time. It gives it a bit of a different bounce now. So also what I'm going to do is change up the velocities on this. So I'm just literally going to randomise it. I'm just going to go to a few and adjust the velocity a little bit. So it's not always the same, the same velocity. And this gives it a different feeling too. It's not so rigid. So that's it for the hi-hats. What I'm going to do next is add in some perks. I think for sure if you want to make your drums more interesting, you've got to add in some perks. It doesn't even have to be unorthodox sounds or some out there really different sounds. Sometimes it's just about the placement. So the typical track bounce is like this. So instead of that, what you could do is just have it on, just change it up a little bit. What I'm also going to do as well is change up the velocity. I'm actually going to do it in this old speed sampler because I can do it right here. I'm also going to go ahead and add in another perk as well. as well on top of this. And literally all I'm doing is just finding the placement, just trying to find the pocket where it fits in. sounds just to give it a, a different bounce. Now what I'm going to do is add in some open hats as well. in my kick so I'm quickly just going to do a kick pattern I got my kick pattern down but one thing I want to do to change it up just a little bit is change up the velocities of the kick so here right here so it's like a double kick the one that comes before so this one right here I'm just gonna put the velocity down just a little bit so we got so it just gives that second kick that comes after it, it hits a bit harder But yeah, that's 
about it for this video. Those are my tips, my secrets on how to make your drums interesting. I hope it helps. If it does, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button right now. And yeah, I'll see you in the future.